team sheets are in and Collingwood has made two changes ahead of Friday night's game against North Melbourne, which coach Nathan Buckley has labelled a finals-like match. We chat to Director of Football Neil Baum, we catch up with an injured defender and we'll fill you in on the Skipper's first post-match Facebook chat that you're all invited to. But first, the teams, and it's a big welcome back to two fan favourites. Alex Vasolo returns to the senior side after resting his shoulder last week, as does fellow West Australian Marley Williams, who returns after a two-week stint in the VFL. Williams' season has been less than ideal, with injury and form restricting him to just six appearances so far. He returns off the back of consecutive 24 disposal performances in the VFL, starring in last week's 66-point win over Frankston. The pair replace the omitted Brent McArthur and Jordan Dugowie. Dugowie has not missed a game since round 19 last year, but will spend this week cooling his heels. Well, selection was made a little trickier this week with the side coming off consecutive interstate trips and a six-day break. So how is the team preparing? Let's find out from Director of Football, Neil Baum. We're in a reasonably good position. We're, uh, we're fairly healthy as a list and it's good to have um, Marley had a couple of weeks back in the, in the VFL and played pretty well both weeks, so he's deserved his spot back in the side. Um, as has um, Faz has come up pretty well after that um, shoulder. He was a little bit sore last week, but he's uh, come up pretty well this week, so he's always going to be a good addition to the forward line. So it's disappointing for both um, Caff and, and Jordy to go to, to miss out, but we're in a good position where we can make some choices, and I'm sure it'll only be short term for those guys. And we're always keen to play well. We've played and no, nowhere near as well this season as we would have liked. We've set ourselves for the second half of the season to have a decent crack. And even though we were beaten last week, we thought we played reasonably well. We need to play better than that this week. But to play against North, who've had a, have a terrific season, really, they've been a bit flat lately. Uh, but they'll come out uh, all guns blazing, there's no doubt about that. So it's a great opportunity for our guys to play against a really quality side when, when there's a lot in it for them. And uh, clearly, we believe there's a lot in it for us. It's been a long time since we've seen defender Tom Langdon at senior level. In fact, he's only played five games this year. Ankle and knee injuries have meant he spent most of the season in rehab at the Holden Centre. Collingwood Media caught up with him to find out how his body is healing and when he expects to return to full fitness. I went in for surgery three weeks ago with um, my knee. So it's the same knee that I got surgery on in December. Um, still giving me a bit of grief in terms of the meniscus. So they went in. Nothing showed up in the MRI, but they found a bit of a tear again, which is um, a bit frustrating. But um, yeah, at the moment, we're just doing a lot of rehab to get that right. Unfortunately, I'll probably miss the rest of the season, which is a bit disappointing. But um, at the moment, I'm taking quite a conservative approach with all the physios and all the rehab guys because it's the same knee that I did in December. So we obviously want to get that right for the start of next pre-season and, and leading into games there. So hopefully it doesn't give me any trouble um, after this year. Yeah, it's definitely been a new experience for me. I guess in the first two years, I was lucky enough to be relatively injury free and, and played most games. So um, it's been definitely a learning curve for me, but I guess everyone goes, goes through periods in their career where they get injured and, and obviously mine's now. So um, unfortunately you can't play this game and not many people played uh, injury free throughout the whole career. So I guess it's my turn now and I've just got to get that right. For the first time this Friday night, we will bring you the raw thoughts of the skipper in his first post-match Q&A with fans via Facebook. Scott Pendlebury will open up his personal Facebook page for supporters to engage with him in the hours after the final siren. So make sure you keep an eye on his page to be part of the conversation. Well, it's round 18 and it's the first time we step out on Etihad Stadium in the 2016 home and away season. If you can't get there, you can watch it live around the country on 7 and Fox Footy from 7.30pm local time. While all of the football's major radio station will be calling the match nationwide. So check your local guides to make sure you don't miss a beat. Thanks again for joining us on Team Sheep. Bucks has called on his players to produce finals-like intensity this Friday night. Let's see how they respond. Bring on the ruse. Go Pies.